James and Dave here. And this hey, is this is like a touchy subject, I think, right now, or it will be more and more in the future. And that is, will AI take my job? Or I'm going to say AI will take your job, depending on what it is. And is that necessarily a bad thing? In a lot of ways, I think it's a good thing. So we all um, use technology, obviously. I'm using a cell phone. I'm using AI. I'm using a whole bunch of tools. But if we go back years ago, you know, how do people get around, let's say, you know, in the 1800s in the United States? Well, a lot of people got around by horses. Well, along came a car in the 1900s or whenever the time frame was. And yep. people started, there was a time where there was more horses than cars. And it was like, oh, there's this car. I don't, I don't want, I don't want a car. I don't want to use a car. Someone could get hit by that car. Whatever they were saying back then. Well, now cars are everywhere. You, you don't really see people losing horses. But you know what? Whoever did jobs with horses, they probably lost their job. And I think we have to understand that and realize that. So if you're in an industry with AI that is or could be disrupted, graphic designers, copywriters, where we are right now, the list goes on and on and on. You, we need to understand that. We need to recognize that. And either A, how are we going to differentiate ourselves or use the power of AI to make money? And we've talked about how you can make a bunch of videos, or excuse me, how you can make a bunch of um, images, et cetera, and get paid that way in a previous video. But you just need to know that that's coming. So don't be that person that's sitting there and saying, I don't want AI to happen. I don't want my life to change. I'm not letting it change. I'm still going to be the same person, right? Just like back in the day, you know, my mom said, I'm never going to use an iPad or what's that silly thing you have there? Well, she uses an iPad now, you know, 10 years later. Right. And you just can't stop it. AI is out of the bag. It's not going away. So, so if you're at that point, you need to firmly understand that and recognize it. And I don't think anything is safe. You know, one of the safest jobs that used to be years ago was to, to work on the railroads. And that's not necessarily a job that everybody's trying trying to get into now. So what can you do to be on the forefront of AI to use it for you? Not be scared that it's going to take your job away. What it's going to do is it's going to make all of our lives exponentially better. And then the new opportunities that, that come about, you need to take advantage of that. Yeah, and I feel like um, AI, just like the internet, same thing with the internet. What's funny is my wife's grandfather, uh, said oh computers those are just a fad those are going to come and go uh of course he he lived along he lived to over a little over 100 years of age but he got to see that that was not a fad right he got to eventually realize oh i was wrong uh the thing about technology like james says is it's always going to keep coming and it's always going to keep uh improving our lives will we pe will people lose jobs yes but the right people will figure out how to use that technology in their jobs to either improve their jobs for their employer or learn how to branch off on their own and take the knowledge and skills and experience that they developed on that job to either start their own business or to build new skills for a new job, right? So it's all a matter of, of adapting. Uh, and I don't think, uh, I, I think the people that are a little nervous about AI, uh, there's some, some good reason to be nervous about some aspects of AI. Like what if AI takes over? Kind of like in the Terminator movie, right? That kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's something to be uh, concerned about. But when it comes to jobs and opportunity, let's look at every technological advancement. Has it led to an increase in opportunity or a decrease in opportunity? Um, I'd say about 90% of the time, uh, new technologies have led to increases in opportunity. And not just for the people who are into the technology, but increases in opportunity for all of society, right? So if we look at it that way, then we realize, oh, the bad news is AI might replace your job. The good news is it might give you a lot more opportunities. So let's be open to those opportunities. The, the ability to see into the future is something not everybody has. But if you're able to just take a little glimpse and go, oh, how might this change my life for the better instead of how might it change my life for the worse, right? Then you'll start to open your eyes, open your mind to, oh, it could do this and this. Maybe I can do this, right? That's the thing about new technology. It's scary because of fear of the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but those of us that embrace the technology, and especially if you are an early adopter, exactly, yeah. uh, you get to really ride that wave and and 
and especially if you're entre entrepreneurial at all. Uh, and this that's what this channel is all about, is showing you how to ride this wave of AI the way we are, right? Yeah, imagine if you were one of those people in, in, in the Bitcoin forums when, when no one was literally buying Bitcoin. And then there was a guy that's like, um, I'm willing to sell 10,000 Bitcoins if someone could send me two, two pizzas. I mean, that happened. And some I'd love to interview that person. But, you know, yeah. somebody they, they said, I'll, I'll send you two pizzas. And now they call it a pizza day in the crypto world. But gave two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins. Okay? Oh, my goodness. You do the math on that. Okay. What that is now. Well, in a lot of ways, that's where AI, AI has been around for a while, but we're in this unique area of time now where you're, you're seeing that the viewer is recognizing we're in these true early stages of AI. Now's the time to be watching our videos. Now's the time to be getting immersed in that because as things continue to evolve so rapidly, as things change, you're all of a sudden going to see the idea that works for you. And then you can expand on that. And who knows where you'll be two or three years from now, where you're going to be so much farther ahead than someone else two or three years from now that tries to get in the game, if you will, where you've been there when everything wasn't perfect. Chat, GBT, and some of these tools are exponentially doing amazing things, and we're talking about that. But we, where we're going to be two or three years from now is going to be so much farther ahead. So yeah. imagine someone that's been working with computers for 40 years, how they really, really understand where we're at now. And back in my day, I had to do this, this, and this to try and do that, not to piece things all together. It's exciting to be in a point where there is a little friction where, well, you might have to copy and paste this here. You might have to do that because most people aren't even willing to do that kind of work. But if you can do that and you can, you can, you can see the, the core of this taking shape, when things get exponentially better, you're just going to be like, this is a joke. Boom. Here we are. We're making money like crazy. And other people are going to look at you as like, how how did you make that happen? How how is that possible? Well, it's because I've been I've been immersed in this stuff at the right time. The timing of this is perfect. Yes, and you want to follow our lead. Look, James and I, we decided to make this channel because we see the future. We see exactly. where things are going. We see how big this thing is going to be. We see that AI is ten or a hundred times more disruptive in a positive sense than the internet was. The internet brought about all kinds of opportunities to make money. And James and I both benefited from that, profited. We both each made uh, over a million dollars with internet marketing or ties to the internet. And now we see this new thing called AI. And it is so far beyond what the internet provided as far as opportunities. It is so much bigger. And so we both kind of mutually decided, you know what? This is the time to do this, to help people with this. And at the same time, see where this leads us to as well, as we're starting to build this channel out. So we're glad that you're on this ride with us. We're very grateful that you're on this ride, that you're a subscriber of ours. And uh, you know, by the way, way in the description, we're going to have a link to our uh, newsletter subscription. If you want to subscribe to the newsletter itself, uh, we are on the cutting edge. We've always been on the cutting edge of internet marketing, but we're going to be on the cutting edge of AI as well for you so that you can take advantage of these latest trends that come along. Exactly. And there's something there's something in it for all of us. So Dave and I are, are in this and you, the, the, the subscriber, I, I firmly believe that, that you're going to immerse yourself in this. And it's about making this work for you. Dave and I love this. We're, we're, we're getting all kinds of benefits from this. But in the end, it's about you. How are you going to take advantage of what we talk about in this channel? How are you going to take advantage of these advances coming from AI? Look at it from that lens, from that perspective. And, and not just how is it going to help you, but how can you help others? So we're helping others with this channel and it's going to grow and it's going to do a lot of great things. But how can you use the power of AI to give somebody else what they want? And, and how, however that comes about, giving them a picture that they want, creating a story that they consume, making a process in their work lives easier. How can you benefit the world by using the pay, power of AI, giving someone a nice nice thing to consume? They consume that, and what happens? They're happy, and they pay you for that. So if you're helping others, that's how you intrinsically are going to help yourself. And I think that's an important mindset to have here. Yeah, and one last thing as we wrap this up is I want to give you my story, my my true story of how I learned about the Internet and how the, that changed my life. So back in the early 80s, I was a draftsman working for the city of Los Angeles. I used to draw maps of the sewer lines underneath the streets. So, you know, they need to know where the sewer lines are so they don't chop through one, right? And cause a big mess. 
So I used to draw the maps of the sewer lines under, under the streets of LA, physically draw them with, with pencil and paper. I left that job because I, I wanted to be my own boss. I left that job, got into my own business. And right after I left that job, my, my job was obsolete because everything went to computer-aided drafting. I didn't know how to do computer-aided drafting. Technology, right? New technology came in. But what, what happened, though, is I got excited about eBay in the uh, late 90s. Well, so fast forward a few years. Got excited about eBay and the Internet. So this whole new technology about eBay and Internet, I don't think I would have been on a computer if it hadn't been for eBay back then. So I get excited about eBay. I start making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year selling little toy cars on eBay, on the Internet, right? And then that leads to an infomercial company quote, discovering me and saying, hey, we want you to be on our infomercial. And that led to millions of dollars that I made with the infomercial teaching people how to sell on eBay. So what I'm getting at is technology shifted for me as a draftsman. I could no longer draw with, you know, special pencils, special paper, blueprints. I could no longer do that manually because technology came and took that job away from me, right? It went to people who were trained in computer-aided drafting. But technology changed my life because it allowed me to make millions, which there's no way I would have made millions working for the city of Los Angeles. Right? And Dan, so, you could have just as easily in that point in time said, you know what, this is not fair. I I went to school for this. I should be able to continue drawing for, you know, doing being a draftsman. And right. just the way it works, even though you're a good person, even though you may have been very talented, that sorry, there's just a better way now. And that's and that's that's the cold reality of it. Yep. But if if something goes away, in my opinion, something new comes about. Yep. And so try not to focus on, you know, this is how it should be. It's like, where are we now? Where are things and more importantly, where are things going? And see, if you go with the premise that Dave and I have that AI is gonna like revolutionize everything. If you go with that premise, if you believe us, if you believe it in your heart and it comes true, which I believe it is because it's, it's happening in front of us so rapidly, then you're going to be in such a better place than 99% of the world because most people don't have that particular view that we're in right now. So if you ride that wave and you keep you keep following us, you keep you keep going down this path, your own path through through AI, um, great things are going to happen for you. I firmly believe that. I believe that too. I believe that... Uh... It's time to jump on the AI wave and not let the AI opportunities pass you by. Like they're coming, whether you take the opportunity or not, these opportunities are heading your way. It's your ability to recognize them and to take the right opportunity for you, the one that makes sense for you, right? Uh, to jump on that, that's gonna determine your future. If you decide AI is not for me, well, it's coming either way, whether you you know decide to, to jump on it or not, so it's either going to wash over you and, yes, maybe replace your job and now you're wondering what to do next. Or you could jump on that wave as a surfer and ride it, you know. And so that's what we're encouraging you to do is get subscribed to this channel. Be sure to you, you get knowledgeable about AI. Subscribe to our AI newsletter, which we'll, we'll have a link to uh, down below. And make sure that you stay on top of this because it is going to change lives. We know it. We know it in our bones. We, James and I both, we live in the world of opportunities and we can see this opportunity coming and it's amazing. So uh, do that and we look forward to seeing you guys next time on Making Money with AI.